Hi there, Signs of Leo. This is Kim here with Just Saying Tarot and Oracle. And of course, this is your reading. So it's going to be your next 48 hour. I didn't really think about it except for the fact that those are the ones that people seem to like. So we will to keep doing this. Um, but I will have um, a monthly. I might start doing weeklies too. I used to do them. All right, so <laughs> let's let that part step to the side. And your, my ego step to the side and all things me stepping to the side so that Leo collective consciousness can come in. So I'm opening up to the people that are viewing this reading, okay? So I always ask that your spirit guides and your angels um, and your higher self join us so that the messages resonate with you on not only a soul level, but resonate with your purpose, plan, purpose, highest timeline. I have already burnt um, some white sage first because it takes a while to get going. So I did it before this time. <clears throat> All right. Well, Leos, let's see what we've got. Thank you so much for coming and viewing this. Liking, sharing, subscribing. If you like a private reading from me, check out the description box below for that information. And into your reading. We're pulling from uh, this deck first, this Oracle deck, the Shaman's Dream. I believe it's the Shaman's Dream. Let's... A big focus on energy here for you all. Energy. Energy healing. Energy working with energy. Managing your energy, maybe managing your energy with this 63 winter's dream gestation period. Winter's dream gestation period. I feel like something's just been halted for a little while. I mean, there is the golden ratio here within this spiral, right? So, um, and, and she has cute little fairy wings. Notice her little star tattoos on her arm. She's just taking kind of like a nap, kind of like a cold nap. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Here's your winter drink. Here's your cold nap. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it just it doesn't look like she's phased by the coldness, obviously. It's 63, so it's a 9 has to do with things coming to fruition probably after this gestation period. So Leo, I think this means there's even bigger success coming in than what you realize. I think maybe you're excited by the prospects, but are like content with like, if you're doing all right right now, just kind of like content. So you don't, I don't think you see that this has all been building up to something bigger. Major completion. End of a cycle. Maybe not even a completion yet, but the end of a cycle. There's another nine. 54. <laughs> nine. Nine, nine. Letting go of the past. Not letting the past have a grip over you or control you. In any way, shape, or form, because that's not where you are in the past. That's not where you reside. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have drank coffee today, so. The crossing, the initiation. Like I said, there's something that's building up to per perhaps this. Something building up to this. <clears throat> a 
which looks fantastic. It looks like a portal of some sort. It's you. It's a piece of you. And it's a beautiful part here. Initiation. And something else. This one has been coming out for a lot of people, but like reversals, I, I always say, well, that means that the card needs extra attention. Truly, that's how I treat all reversals. There's not one specific rule or guideline for reversals. So FYI, but the 34 is a seven, which could be a challenge for you of what you don't realize or what you're not taking advantage of, full advantage of, is you have the lay of the land. You have a lot of built up ancestral knowledge. And I feel, I mean, no matter how you believe that this knowledge is within you, it is within you. Whether you think it's in your DNA, or whether you think it comes out after certain enlightenment, whatever you believe is the truth here. And you have the lay of the land is another truth that if you accepted it, would help you a whole lot. You have the lay of the land. When somebody says that, it's like you've already won. You've already won. All you need to do is implement the things that you know will keep you succeeding or keep doing those things or know that something's building up number six six seven cosmic womb the divine feminine really pretty really really pretty lots of contrast but beautiful white light beautiful white light Cosmic womb, the divine feminine, is, is really telling you to embrace the way that this person is standing on the top of their mountain um, with their arms out to the side and up. It is actually just doing that helps you receive the most, um, well, good open blood flow to your heart, but also air supply to your lungs. It expands as big as it can get in that position, so... You're being open to receiving on all levels. And I think that that's the main message is that you're being open to receiving on all levels here. <sighs> and you're being told or asked to use your resources wisely at this time. Like a cactus, just using what you need. Resourcefulness. Taking advantage like the magician with the things that you have around you. 29, um, 11. Oh, look, and it's green. So there's a lot of like heart chakra opening here that I feel like has to do with all this. A succulent, a cactus. Dances on one foot. Number nine, 999. Nine, nine. A dance dances on one foot. It is a balancing act. So there's balance, there's skills, there's justice, there's choices, decisions, movement. And there's also um, times that call for really creative measures um, of how we make it through. Okay, let's go ahead and get our tarot spread. So there is a crossing. <clears throat> the crossing, initiation, cosmic womb, the divine feminine. It's you're being initiated into the time of the Divine Feminine, where it's Divine Feminine's turn to shine, time to shine, and have a lay of the land working together with the Divine Masculine. 
the, the divine feminine has the lay of the land here, it feels like. This is unexpressed passion, the lay of the land, too. Not only does it, you have the resources to, and the resourcefulness, meaning your creativity plus what you're working with, um, that means something. This is really good. in the reverse, Leo. This could be that we're mastering our, our mood. I mean, it can be that because it can be the process of it. Or, I mean, there could be something that's just kind of shocking or um, something that doesn't feel like it's being guided in love. Something that maybe feels angry or fueled by something that's other than love here it feels off balance possibly talking about the emotions balancing act dealing possibly dealing with like mental illness or um fixing that living with that seven of swords um is sneaky and i was thinking when i saw this king of cups another thing that sometimes i relate to the king of cups is of a person who is quick to anger so you kind of feel like you're having to walk around this person like walking on eggshells and th and that might be what this energy is about like doing something kind of like a fox very clever sneakily but very clever here so, yeah, there is some kind of deception. Um, I'm not necessarily sure it's something all that bad. It's just something that might anger. Maybe it might anger somebody. Well, that's what we're trying to avoid, right? And, it, you know, in the card, the things that this guy has to pretty much look, look, um, look out for is other people. Not really natural obstacles but other people Ooh, nice the six of wands here is really wanting to come in and say hey i would like to take center stage but right now there's a challenge there is a challenge it feels like th this is something that comes in and gives you recognition Look, it looks like DNA, doesn't it? Like passionate DNA upgrade. <laughs> In the lay of the land. Um, a victory. Reward for merit. Feeling really super appreciated. Maybe that is the issue too, of not feeling that appreciated. Especially if you're around this energy of the sneaky, sneakiness, if it's not yours. Hmm. Hmm. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is, I'm going to say, since it's being paired with this, could be about resourcefulness, about getting more um, clever with how we manage our things that, that truly might be even luxury items to us. We just don't look at it like that because um, a lot of us are used to having, you know, oh, quite a bit compared to other places so this is using your resourcefulness um if you're looking at this like a love issue you could have something that's really angered you or feel like you have no one to go to for assistance when it comes to something mental or dealing with things mental um where you could have somebody that's really trying at the heart of the matter that somebody trying to mess with your what you got going on domestically and 
it, it could be Capricorn energy. There's Aquarius energy with this, and there's Leo energy with that card. But you know, don't get hung up on the um, the signs. Only if it really resonates for you. The three of Empress, <laughs> the three of Empress here is in the past energy. It's in the reverse. Meaning that somebody's just really not feeling like the Empress energy. They're feeling like they have to focus on themselves, taking better care of themselves, knowing how to manage themselves, their own issues, their body, their health, their yeah, their issues first before they can take care of anybody else. This also can represent having some kind of mother issue or dysfunction going on wow nine you're mirroring of course well, we're all mirroring the nine of cups is pure contentment satisfaction having everything you truly want satisfied Truly, though, with your arms like that, there's a little bit of guardedness and there's a little bit of a power play and all with the legs. I feel like that's saying like, like I'm shut off to you, um, but I don't feel vulnerable. I feel brave or something like that. I don't know. That's the energy that's coming across. Nine of Cups, future energy. I have death in the reverse. So there's some kind of, um, there's some kind of completion, a tying up of the strings, a tying up of the loose ends. Unfinished Symphony going back to rectify or make something right eight of cups reverse could also be about trying to emotionally detach but not winning and definitely not winning because you have the queen of cups energy here and the queen of cups energy is really she's just so loving and able to open her arms and receive the epitome of self-love knows you know how to how to feed themselves how to eat how to exercise right eat right drink enough water get enough vitamins <laughs> go outside get some exercise knows that it's all taking care of themselves is all this this grandiose <laughs> balancing act you really have to make it like about self um to get these things in balance and in order before taking care of anybody else too or any other situation so the seven of pentacles here is in the reverse is it a hope or fear i feel like you're like i just hope this doesn't take much more time here whatever this is two for the outcome hmm. well okay it's well that's not bad guys Nine of Swords with the Six of Swords, and they're both in reverse, which is really how you you want those cards to be. Maybe not for the Six of Swords. Six of Swords in reverse can mean a couple of things. It can, I mean, to me, it can mean um, paired with the Eight of Cups, somebody returning a return. That definitely can be, or it could be like um, realizing now that you found the solution, but not listening to your better judgment to get away because there's this emotional attachment here. So let's go ahead and clarify for you. Got a lot of um, interesting cards. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. Wish granted and everything like that. So Cancer energy, Pisces energy, Pisces, Pisces, Gemini, Aquarius, Tell me about um, the Empress in reverse here. First, we'll start with her judgment. And then there's the Empress right now in the upright. So releasing judgment, releasing harsh criticism, or an idea that anything really has to look a certain way when it comes down to when it comes down to it. One must be able to take care of 
their own things, their own projects. Dropping, you know, that judgmental side allows for so much better wisdom, not, you don't, I don't want to say better, but more wisdom to come to you. Placing judgments aside. I also look at this as like the Red Cross, like receiving spiritual assistance or aid, first aid from spirit. Um, that it has to do with forgiveness, grace, second chances, awakening, enlightenment. Uh, Sagittarius energy, possibly. Tell us what the Seven of Swords, somebody sneak in. Hanged man in reverse. No more waiting. No more waiting. Um, no more. The self-sacrifice is over. No more waiting. This is something that we're avoiding confronting. Or we haven't confronted yet. Somebody that we feel is sneaky. Sneaky. But that the time for that is over. Like the time for this perspective shift shift is over. You've done that. You've had this enlightenment. This is you coming down and doing something. But I will tell you, you do not have a lot of um you hardly have any fire sign, hardly any uh movement in this reading. So there's a lot of emotions and there's a lot of I think planning and strategy on how to tie up some loose ends. Possibly returning to, you know, fix some kind of disaster that we had to leave behind. We're feeling like we might be in the middle of the storm right now, but we have the answers. And 9-9 nine, nine is showing up again. And then really, that's in the reverse, 999. Nine, nine. It's, it's about um, getting to work on your soul's mission here. Um, being kind to yourself. Make sure your yourself is, like, satisfied here. That you have all that you want. Of course, you're still working on your Ten of Cups, right? So there may have been something at the heart of it, like an offer um, to restart something or to have something from the past. Or this Ace of Cups in the reverse could be about you being offered somebody's cup and you just not wanting to take it. Not wanting the offer for some reason, whatever reason that is. And this is kind of good. The Five of Pentacles, if it's in reverse, I look at it and I say, well, the focus isn't on your Five of Pentacles. It's actually on getting away from that energy because that is like something that you would want to try to do is get out of that energy. Knowing that it's the hallmark is that it's temporary, that some people were left out. Um, this is feeling included again, possibly a mutual partnership or agreement, and it may be something that you're doing again, if you get what I'm saying. Okay, so that's that. You're feeling lovey. You're feeling loving, lovey. Of course, we still have cups. I mean, we really have a lot of emotions Tell us about the Six of Wands here as a challenge. The Seven of Wands. If it's in this position, to me, it's a challenge um, to be brave and to actually stand up and have a voice about something, having an opinion. Um, standing up to let your opinion be known, fighting for something, advocating. That's all part of the victory is if you want it, go, go after it. It's kind of the message I'm getting. If you want it, go after it. What's that eight of cups in the reverse here? As in your environment, I have the seven of cups. Okay. So I feel like there's a little bit of energy of, in the past, of, of not saying things exactly clearly for what they were, having many options, sometimes choosing the ones that were not that great for us. But I feel like that was kind of rectified here 
especially with this Queen of Cups in the upright with the Seven of Cups. So again, it's the Eight of Cups. Together, there's the Eight of Cups. This person is taking really good care of themselves um, and trying to see things clearly now. Regarding why somebody left a situation or why it would be necessary to go back to something. Maybe that's that Ace of Cups here. So being really open to love, loving yourself, self-satisfaction, taking care of yourself. What is the death in reverse here? For the, the Knight of Wands. Passionately moving towards what you want to tie up these loose ends, this unfinished symphony. Gosh, I need to get more cards. Um, Knight of Wands. Movement. Travel. Get ready for movement. Get ready to finish any unfinished symphonies. Something might be revealed here too. Yeah, well, it will be revealed what direction you're going into. Queen of Cups. Loving. Divine Feminine. <laughs> Seven of Pentacle in the reverse. Running out of patience. Or maybe the patience is up. It's divine timing for something. Yeah, well, it's divine timing for you to start treating yourself better. The Queen of Cups and the Page of Swords is divine timing. For some kind of information that comes in, may even be an uncomfortable talk, but it solves something. The uh, Ten of Wands is letting us know that whatever this communication is, could be a child, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but between the Page of Swords and the Queen of Cups, it is somebody doing all that they can and getting really close to their finish line. Um, doing all that, putting in a lot of work. All right. So a lot of change and a lot of work. Lot of transformation. Six of swords in the reverse. The high priestess. And this is the challenge here, okay? So the reason it's like this is because there's a problem or an issue that you're wanting to solve. Uh, you've had many sleepless, worrying nights, and that is going to be fixed. It's about going, it's about knowing what to do whether to go back or whether to stay or leave. It's it's all about High Priestess energy, knowing what to do inside. So through your intuition, tapping into your intuition, it's going to say, you know, hey, you already know the answer. That's the big message is you already know the answer. All right here, Leos. And look, we end with the King of Cups in the reverse. It's Scorpio energy twice, making somebody or somebody getting kind of shocked or upset or something like that. Gosh, this is a long reading. We're gonna close with this. I didn't mean to go that long. Seraphim, Seraphina, be an ambassador for Earth and build your bridge towards Source. So what I got for you, Leo, sending you love and light.